I'm Georgie Barrett. We're at DroidCon, the largest Android conference in Europe, where Skills Matter and Nevoda are showcasing all the latest Android technologies. This is your week in tech. Splitable has raised $1.2 million. The London-based startup makes an app that helps you to manage and share household expenses. Consumer Insight and Engagement app OnePulse has raised $1 million. Companies can ask people questions and get instant feedback. The market research company already has the likes of Coca-Cola and Aviva on board. And social analytics platform Brandwatch has raised a $33 million Series B round to expand further in the US. The Coalition for the Digital Economy has written an open letter to the government opposing their plans to reduce skilled immigration. Founders of LastMinute.com, TransferWise, Unruly and Crowdcube are amongst 230 other tech startups and investors to sign the petition. The letter emphasises that the changes could restrict growth and hurt the UK's digital economy. TalkTalk Talk is the latest victim of hacking crime. As many as 4 million customers are believed to have had their financial information accessed by the hack. TalkTalk Talk reacted to the data security breach by publishing videos of the CEO, Baroness Dido Harding, on YouTube. In an attempt to reassure customers, she insisted that bank account details obtained could not be used to take money from accounts. The incident once again highlights the vulnerability of our personal data online and posed the question whether companies should be doing more to secure their IT infrastructure against attacks. Our download of the week is Cellavision. Here's Shed to tell us a little bit more. Cellavision is eBay meets YouTube. It allows you to sell any product or service through a 30 second video that you shoot through the app. It's totally free to list and you only pay a listing fee if you sell. So it's much more fast, easy and fun than eBay. That's the Cellavision app. Become a Cellavision star today and install it now. And finally, it's not just big business that is at risk of cybercrime. The BBC reported that a hairdresser in Scotland was hacked and threatened over their database this week. The data was held at ransom and even when the business owner paid the €1,000, much of the data was gone. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.